I am giving you guys a McAlpin tour. So basically the way I set this up is that you can see how the room comes when you first get here and then my decorated side. So if you look at how it comes when you first get here, it's not really a lot of space. Um, but every room comes with a bookshelf, a desk, a chair, and then a bed with the dressers under it. And then McAlpin has a shared closet. So one roommate gets each side. My roommate's already moved out. So I started taking over a little bit of her side, but usually you would share this top part and one room you would get this top part, but I started to spread out. McAlpin does have a privacy wall in the middle of the room. And then if you look at my side, I moved my bed. She actually moved her bed too, but I moved it back for the sake of the video. Um, so over the bed, I have my refrigerator and a little reading nook. You do need approval to get a refrigerator at Spellman. Um, my TV goes in this little shelf that's above my bed. And then I actually pulled my dresser from under my bed just because I wanted a dresser, and then you have the desk that's over here um, on the other side as well. So then what I recommend for everybody is to get these plastic drawers from either Walmart or Target, and then I'm gonna make an Amazon wish list of like suggested things to get for your dorm. To put your underwear, bras, and socks in because there's not enough room in those drawers for pants, shirts, and everything. And the closets are pretty small. So there's enough space for clothes, but not enough space for my clothes. I still have clothes under my bed and everything. Um, so then looking more at the room, there's storage space under your bed. I keep my kitchen stuff, my suitcases and everything under there. And there's also a storage space downstairs that I can show you guys. Uh, and that's pretty much the room. I put up the curtains using command hooks just because the window was the entire wall. So you kind of have to coordinate with your roommate. Um, and if you look at the top of the closet, which I didn't even show you, lol. There's extra storage space up there, which I use for my purses. And then I have like organizing bins hair, extra soap and stuff, kitchen stuff, and then just like random stuff, nail polish remover, everything like that. And then I have two shower caddies, one for shower stuff and like after shower stuff, so lotion and deodorant, and then one for face wash and toothpaste and everything. So after I shower, I can just head back in the bathroom with the other one. Every room comes with a door mirror. I thought my room, like mine was a little too small. So I got this mirror from Ikea from like 60 dollars. It's 30, cause I do my hair and makeup right here. And then I put my ring light on the wall with some command strips, uh, just to, make doing my hair easier, but I forgot to mention that, so yeah. Okay, looking at a McAlpin single, it's the same as the double, but really just a single. Has two shelves in one area instead of one to make up for the two shelves. And this one I feel like is just a little bit more spacious than half of a double. So if you are interested in a single, I mean, here's what it looks like. It has the same bookshelf, um, the same wall, window, and everything like that. The dressers are still under the bed. It's literally just a little bit smaller. And this one actually comes with a big mirror instead of a little one. I think that's everything for the single. So Okay, here are our bathrooms or our toilet. We have three actual toilet stalls, and then there is certain bathrooms with disability toilet stalls, but they're on the first floor. And then you have five, six, each one has a hook, which is why I have a separate shower guide with two brushes and stuff like that, because it's easier to put only that stuff on this hook. And then when you keep going, we have our shower. There is three showers in the little shower room. They all have curtains to them, and there's hooks on the wall. That hurts. There's hooks on the wall for you to put your caddy. Um, some people, if they're not using the shower by the wall, will have a bucket on the floor um, where they put their hooks instead of a hanging shower caddy. And then there's also a community bathtub in case you wanted to. <laughs> Each section of the building. Um, has a lounge, there are three sections, the left, the right, and this is the middle bath section. The lounge was pretty much look the same. Full size refrigerator, except for in the middle sections. The middle sections have many fridges, but they can use the fridges on the left or right side. You just have to put your name and your room number on stuff so people don't take it. But I use the lounge to do my homework because I feel like it's better than my room because um, it kind of eliminates distractions. But this is pretty much what all the lounges look like. And the chairs are really comfy, and there's outlets on all sides of the walls. Um, sometimes it's a little 
like dip in here. So I'll bring like a lamp in here or something like that. Oh, I forgot to mention. So the rooms and the doubles, it's one switch for the entire room. So you have to kind of coordinate with your roommate when you want the light on and when you want it off. And I recommend getting a lamp so you can have your light on even if the roommate wasn't. It doesn't twin. For this is our elevator, our laundry and storage are on the ground floor. There's one in the middle of the building. We were on the second floor. I would live on the third floor, but we were on the second floor to show you guys the lounge. Let's hurry up. So you don't have to take your laundry too far. Right here, there's three washers, three dryers, and then the utility sinks. Um, Spelman has laundry view, so you can scan the QR code right here and check when the laundry, um, when the washers and dryers are free. And then there's another room in here with some folding tables um, and a chair. I like to sit in here and do my homework while my clothes are washing because I don't really like to leave my clothes. But this is our laundry room. That's what So in here is the hair room. It has mirrors and outlets. You can plug in your blow dryers, two professional hair sinks with a little drain thing so your hair doesn't clog the drain. And then there used to be two chairs. No, we're going to But <laughs> A chair so you can sit there. I usually have a friend come and help me, but they, they literally work like normal things. Like normal hair things. They're very much real. And it makes it easier so you don't have to wash your hair in the shower because they're not big showers. The <laughs> last stop, well, second to last stop, is our storage room. That kind of looks like a dungeon, but it's okay. So when you have all those extra bins and suitcases that don't put under your bed, the storage room has a bunch of different size storage lockers you can store your things. Um, bring a lock if you're planning on using the storage lockers because the storage room door doesn't lock. And yeah, my storage lockers over there. I actually do use it. It's just nice not to have all the clutter in your room. And then our last stop is going to be the McAlpin lobby so we can look at the vending machines and just the lobby in general. Looking at the McAlpin lobby, we have this mirror that everybody takes pictures at before they go to class. Um, McAlpin is ID access. So you scan your ID to get to the store here, there's two vending machines in the lobby, one for snacks, one for drinks, the RA office and the desk are over here. So if we ever do get visitation, you sign in your guests here and you also check in here when you get your keys. So then past the lobby is the lounge, it has the piano, two computers to use if Cosby is closed, and then TV and just another space to sit. I'm going to leave the link to the Amazon wish list of just kind of necessary things to have in the bio below. I'm trying to make sure I'm not forgetting anything. I think that's all I have to say for today. So bye love, smooches.